creeps in, one is stifled by the passions and overcome by Mara. This is why the Buddha says here in the second ground not to relax, energetic search. Bhumi 3. 1. Sutra. Furthermore, O Subhuti, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva in the third Bhumi should devote himself to five dharmas. What are these five? 1. An insatiable desire for learning. What is this instable desire for learning in the Bodhisattva Mahasattva? The insatiable desire that makes him say, I will remember everything that has been said by the blessed Buddhas in this universe and everywhere in the universes of the ten directions. This is the insatiable desire for learning in the Bodhisattva. Sastra. The Bodhisattva knows that learning is the cause and condition for wisdom and that, possessing this wisdom, he will be able to follow the path with discernment. Endowed with vision, this person travels without any obstacles. This is why the Bodhisattva makes the wish to remember completely all the teachings preached by the Buddhas of the Ten Directions. He remembers everything by the power of this Ruthadara Dharani. The Dharani of retaining what has been heard, by the power of the very pure Divine Eye and by the power of the Asampramosa Harani, the Dharani of not forgetting. Just as the great Sikh collects and retains all the waters flowing from the Ten Directions, so, the Bodhisattva collects and retains all the teachings preached by the Buddhas of the Ten Directions. 2. Sutra Choosing the selfless gift of Dharma by preference without deriving any pride. By way of this gift of Dharma, the Bodhisattva does not even wish for supreme perfect enlightenment or any other thing for that matter. Sastra some bad weeds grow among the grain, but if one eliminates the rye grass, the grain flourishes. This is what the Bodhisattva does. Practicing the gift of the Dharma in preference over all the others, he desires neither fame nor gain nor fruit of maturation in future lives. In the interest of others, he goes even so far as not to seek the nirvana of a lesser vehicle. He limits himself in his great compassion for beings to turning the wheel of the Dharma following the Buddhas. This is the specific characteristic of generosity of the Dharma. 3. Sutra. The purification of the Buddha fields, without deriving pride from it. Using all the roots of good for the purification of the Buddha fields. 4. Sutra. Question. There are many reasons why the Bodhisattva does not tire of dwelling in samsara. Why then does the sutra mention only two, namely, his desires to ripen beings and to purify his Buddha field? Answer. When the Bodhisattva dependent on his roots of good dwells in samsara, his sufferings and torments are diminished. He is like a wounded man who has been given a good medicine and whose sufferings are thus decreased notably. The Bodhisattva has acquired roots of good so pure that the sadness, jealousies, malicious thoughts of the present existence are eliminated for him. When he assumes a new existence, he gathers the fruits of retribution of his roots of good, he himself enjoys happiness works in many ways for the benefit of beings and purifies his own Buddha fields as he wishes. The splendor of the Buddha universes surpasses that of the divine palaces. One never tires of contemplating them. They soothe the minds of the great bodhisattvas and, even more so, those of worldly people. This is why even though the bodhisattva has many reasons for remaining in samsara, the sutra mentions only these two here. 5. Sutra. Settling into shame, but without deriving any pride from it. The repulsion that the Bodhisattva should feel for the state of mind of the Sravaka and the Pratyeka Buddha. The Bodhisattva Mahasattva in the third ground, O Subhuti, should hold to these five dharmas. Sastra. There are several types of shame. Here it is a matter of repulsion for the state of mind of the Sravaka and Pratyeka Buddha. The Bodhisattva has made the resolution to save all beings in general. If, like the Sravakas, he accepted only a little suffering or, like the Pratyeka Buddhas, he wanted to go alone to Nirvana, this would be shameful on his part. If, after having prepared a feast and invited a crowd of people, a man was seized by an attack of miserliness and started to eat alone, that would be shameful. Bhumi 4. 1. Sutra. 
Furthermore, O Subhuti, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva in the fourth Bhumi should take up the ten dharmas and never give them up. What are these ten? 1. Never giving up living in the forest. In the Bodhisattva, what is this faithfulness to staying in the forest? Bypassing the stage of all the Sravakas and Pratayika Buddhas is not renouncing the stay in the forest. Sastra. Staying in the forest is staying away from crowds and dwelling alone. For the Bodhisattva, bypassing the Sravaka and Pratayika Buddha stage is staying away from crowds. 2. Sutra. Little desire. The Bodhisattva does not even desire supreme complete enlightenment and, still less, any other thing. Sastra by virtue of the emptiness consisting of the non-apprehension of dharmas, the Bodhisattva does not seize any characteristic marks and does not become attached to them. It is the same up to Anutta or Samyak somebody. He practices detachment of mind. 3. Sutra. Satisfaction. The acquiring of the knowledge of all the aspects. Sastra. The Bodhisattva who always accumulates the qualities without ever getting tired is satisfied when he has attained supreme enlightenment, for there is no Dharma superior to it. As for satisfaction in regard to food, clothing, beds, seats, etc. It is a cause and condition of good dharmas but, as it does not consider it to be important, the Sutra does not speak of it here. 4. Sutra. Sastra. In a following chapter, the Qa Mopin, we will speak about the acquiescence that dharmas do not arise. In the present passage, the sutra, by Dutta, means the Sanat Patikada Maxanti. During the course of the preparatory convictions, the Bodhisattva contemplates the Anat Patikada Maxanti. The twelve dutis produce purity of morality, purity of morality produces concentration, and concentration produces wisdom. But true wisdom is Anat Patikada Maxanti. Therefore Anat Patikada Maxanti is the fruit of maturation of the Dutas. Actually, here the Sutra metaphorically is designating the effect by their cause. 5. Sutra. The non-abandoning of the moral dictates. This is the non-observance of all the moral regulations. Sastra. The Bodhisattva who understands the true nature of Dharmas. Sees neither morality nor immorality. Although, for many reasons he does not violate morality, what is important for him is to cross through the gate of deliverance called emptiness. 6. Sutra. Discuss for the five objects of desire. Not producing even the idea of desire. Sastra. See above. Here the Buddha would say. When one knows that the nature of the mind is deceptive and unreal, one no longer produces even the idea of desire and all the more so, one no longer experiences the five objects of desire.